What's going on, guys? It's me. I'm back. It's your boy, Willie Young. And I got something to say. No, I'm just kidding. But I got a couple of things I want to share. Probably going to have a little gameplay down there. Down there. And it's just me, my beverage, my smoker, and my microphone. And I got something to say, I think. No, I know. Um... Of course, all of you all know E3 is going on right now, and we've been having this debate for a while on which console was going to get exclusive rights to Call of Duty, and for years and years, Xbox has had it, a little bit of a back history. Um, originally, I, had, I was a PlayStation fanboy, if you can call it that. And I had a PlayStation 3. And my PlayStation, excuse my phone. And my PlayStation 3 had the yellow light of death. And I got so aggravated with it at that time. I went out. And I had never been an Xbox guy. But I went out and I bought an Xbox 360 from GameStop. And that was during... Was that during... That was during Modern Warfare 3. So, I instantly fell in love with the Xbox. I loved it. Um, gameplay was pretty cool. Xbox 360 was a really good machine. And so, I played that for a while. Tried a little different methods to fix the PlayStation 3. The whole box and blow dryer thing and all that. I eventually gave up threw it in the garbage because I didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I played COD each year from that point, Modern Warfare 3 to Black Ops 2 to Ghost. I played on the Xbox 360. But then when the Xbox One came out, of course I pre-ordered and got the day one edition. And I also decided to pick up, since I knew that I was going to come and start doing YouTube content, I decided to pick up a PlayStation 4 to get a different perspective. And me personally, I actually enjoy the PlayStation 4 more than I enjoy the Xbox 360. And this is a telltale reason why you can tell that. It's because this is my... Xbox One controller, which is a normal standard controller, but this, and excuse the, the handprints, is my PlayStation 4. As you can see, it's a scuff. So I, I put a little bit more money into the PlayStation 4 and wasn't really thinking too much of it. You know, I, I was going to eventually get a scuff for the Xbox One, but all my friends and you know, all my friends play PlayStation 4. So I did the send in service and sent it in. It's a video somewhere on my channel. You can go find it if you want. But now they've changed the game. And I really don't know what to do. I feel like now with this announcement, if you all didn't know, they made an announcement saying that PlayStation 4 now has the exclusivity rights to Call of Duty. Now, I don't know the terms as far as how many years they have it. I haven't heard anything. And if any of you have, leave a comment down in the comment section and let me know. But for right now, for this year, this title, PlayStation 4 has it. And, I, and it's not surprising because PlayStation 4 won in sales. And that goes back to the greed of Xbox wanting to make you buy a system with a camera and telling you that that system only worked with the camera then after your sales declined you decide to say oh you can run it without the camera we'll sell some without the camera come on man I left a bad taste in everybody's mouth including myself so now I don't know what to do I'm at a crossroads I had a talk with my wife last night <laughs> and my wife is is pro hashtag keep it <laughs> but and, and and what she says goes so i'm gonna keep it but 
it's now a $500 paperweight to me because I feel like all I play, I play a lot of COD. Okay, I play a lot of COD, but I also play Grand Theft Auto, which I have on that system. On, or, um, not that system, but on PlayStation. I don't, don't want to just dance around. I, I want to be direct. So I have that on PlayStation. So I don't see the reasoning or the point in me to keep the Xbox One. It's, I mean, I don't know. I always, I, I, I kept it around just simply because they got the DLC first. And for the channel purpose, I wanted to bring the content as soon as possible. But now, it's like, what what is it here for? Uh, it's a big-ass box just taking up space in my, in my setup. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm, the fact that PlayStation has exclusivity, I'm pretty excited about. Let's change the game up a little bit. Let's do something a little different. And I'm glad when I decided to buy a scuff controller or do the send in service, I'm glad that I decided to do it with my PlayStation 4 because now I have an advantage when the new game comes out. And if you've never played with a scuff controller, you should definitely play with a scuff controller. The scuff controller is amazing. It, it gives you those couple of extra seconds that you didn't have to win a gunfight. And mind you, I'm not sponsored. I'm just a guy that enjoys a product that he has. So, definitely go out there and get a scuff controller, man. Save up your coins. Save up your little allowances. Save up your, I don't know, if you're grown. Save up your, I don't know, going out money. And just buy one and you'll be surprised. I mean, it's a pretty good investment if you ask me. One second. But yeah, man, I basically feel like it's a paperweight now, but I'm going to keep it, though, because my wife told me to, and that's what we're going to do. So with all that being said, fellas, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, you too, ladies. Um, I enjoy bringing this content to you. It's, it's like a relief almost. You know, a lot of people say they do this for whatever. Like, I truly do this for the love. I have an end goal in mind for this, and I'll explain that in the next, in another video, not the next one, but another video. But I have a, a end goal for this, and it never, it's never financial. This is fun to me. I love computers. I love doing techie stuff. I love editing. I love doing this. So, thank you guys for sharing in my love with me. And as always, this is your boy Willie Young. I'll see you next time. If you don't see me first. Peace out, guys. Peace out, ladies.